hey guys welcome back to my channel called how to today we'll be covering how we can install uh, panorama into our avng okay so the first and foremost thing is i'm gonna open up my vmware workstation player really nice to have my avng installed right so i'm gonna uh, it's already powered on so probably you're gonna need to power on your avng and you'll be and get the ip address right so uh, once i'll have the ip address i can log in into my eve uh, from browser itself right uh, with the username and the password that I have s that I have already set up for the first time and I'll just open up my test or I have a couple of labs that I have configured uh, on the Roma lab as well I guess but right now I don't have any any image for the panorama if I click on right click on node if I type panorama you could see it's grayed out right it's gray out so I don't have any image right now so probably I, I'm gonna use WinSCP for uploading my um, image uh, panorama image into my Eve right so once you'll have your WinSCP you need to uh, click on new session right if you haven't uh, done prior if you're like a beginner so you can just uh, type new site and type the IP address for, for the Eve that you have got 168.68.134 that's the IP I have right uh, when, I, when I have just uh, open up my Eve in, like you know, log in my Eve from the browser give it a username uh, for uh, make sure like you know uh, admin is the default username for the GUI for uh, for the GUI but like you know, if you wanna uh, log in into the console uh, like you know root access uh, you need to use root as in username and password that you have like you no know, uh, given it given it uh, for the first time when you have installed the Eve and let's see it's taking time 192.168.68.134 I think this is the wrong IP uh, 62.134 should be the IP so that is why it is taking time 62.134 and everything is default so yes I am into my like you no know, root uh, can, like you know, root uh, folder right now so once you'll be here you can just like double click up to the up folder here right and follow the path it should be uh, the path where you need to upload the images would be OPT Q UMU bin no OPT unit lab add ons Q E M U. Okay, so this is the path you need to uh, navigate OPT unit lab add ons and Q E M U, wherein I have already uploaded my couple of like you know Q, like you know Q images into my Eve. So parallelly what I'm gonna do is I'm, I, I'll be uploading my uh, so this is the drive like this is the section of my local drive or you can just navigate from here like you know wherever the Europe like you, know, you have stored your uh, images you can just navigate from here itself right so I'm already into my path so I'm gonna upload my panorama 10.1.12 my QCOW images into my Eve for which I will be just simply drag and drop uh, my uh, this panorama image into my QEMU folder okay so it's gonna take some time for uh, uploading from my local machine to my Eve uh, so once this is done um, parallelly what I'm gonna do is I do have a couple of Eve ng QCOW image setup so there's a very quick like you know a good document from uh, Eve uh, that they have install panorama to Eve ng follow panorama so I'm gonna share this document uh, into my uh, comment section uh, I'm gonna give you the link right uh, so this is a very good uh, 
documentation that we can follow for installing uh, this is the official document from events itself for installing panorama into the eve okay so rather than jumping into like you know cli and creating directories so this section we have already completed since like you no know, uh, we'll be creating a directory uh, just create the folder name panorama hyphen uh, version this is something we, we need to make sure the folder na name should be exactly like this panorama hyphen this this is something you can like you know uh, see q cow even g naming uh, this is something like you know uh, if we'll come here and type polo like you know you'll get the reference for polo alto or for panorama if you want to upload any any image right so this is the section like you know QME folder name should be like this, okay? Panorama. So the folder name should be like this, and then after after this hyphen, you can give any 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 name that you want, right? But uh, this is something like you now we need to make sure this is mandate for Polo Panorama, and inside this folder we need to make sure the image name should be Vitoya V I R T I O A right and then additionally for the panorama we even need to create one more hard drive that is mandate that is something we'll be seeing in this follow to doc uh, in this in this panorama installation guide okay but for naming convention this is very mandatory so that is why uh, like you know uh, if you'll see i have even done the same uh, on, on over my local drive just give it a name panorama hyphen and then the version number i have just given for the reference okay inside this the QME image the QCOW image is named as VIRTIOA that is exactly the same that we have into this guide right for this reference guide just an FYI if we are not aware if we are new uh, just just to uh, let you know for every 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 uh, like you know uh, multi vendor images you, you can just like you know type 14 8 and and see what's the folder name should look like and image name should look like okay so going back uh, so this part is done reason being we have already created the folder and uploaded our uh, images into the qmue now what i'll be doing is so this part is done right so we have uploaded our uh, folder and qcam image into eve now what i'll be doing is i'll just open my putty uh, for doing couple of things Okay, I'll be logging into my Eve first uh, via Putty 192.168.62.134. My root and password as this. So I'm into my Eve right now. Okay, so let's follow the documentation from uh, Eve. So uh, this this part is done. We have already created the folder uh, Q U E M U and Panorama. Uh, meaning by if you'll s go here so q u e m u and then panorama right so this is exactly looks like same uh, so this is done right so what we need, what we need to do is uh, let's let's jump in into this path i'll just copy this one cd and then rather than uh, having panorama 10.0.0 what i do have is okay, i'll just do like this I'll, I'll, I'll make you understand I'll just copy this path I'll just navigate to or like you know I can do from here itself like CD CD hyphen OPT hyphen add-ons you can just double tap like you know, if you want to see uh, like the directory that is uh, listed so OPT unit lab add-ons OPT unit lab OPT unit lab add-ons right and then what's the path directory that you need to follow QEMU and the panorama so QEMU QEMU and then you can just double tab just to see what are the folders that are inside this QEMU right so we, we need to navigate to panorama just type PAN and then you can just type tab right and this is this is the shortcut so um, we are into this uh, directory right uh, as uh, we have here i'll just like you know i'll just what i'll do i'll just uh, you know, copy uh, this uh, commands into my comment section you can just copy paste and I'll jump in directly 
that's something you can do uh, but I'm just trying to navigate like just just to let you know how we can navigate uh, okay so going further so once we are here what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, rename the original file name into Victoria QCOG2 that's something we have already done right region being there like you know uh, th this is the original file name that that they do have inside this panorama folder and then they want to uh, rename this file into Victoria QCOG2 that's something we have already covered see if I'll, if I'll type just ls right we can see inside this panorama folder we already do, already do have Victoria QCOG2 right so that's part is already done so what we need to do is next we need to inside this uh, panorama folder we are still in this in, in this uh, path right we need to make sure we need to create one additional folder called virtiob.qcow2 that's something we have here right see we even need to create this with uh, virtiob additional uh, hard drive uh, important create secondary sjd for this log nets since panorama would be collecting logs from the pon from the polar alto right so panorama can be deployed in three categories uh, panorama panorama like you know, logging plus management panorama itself and uh, one more type is there okay so uh, reason being that they would be collecting logs uh, so that is why we need to create an additional hard drive as JD for this so what I'll be doing is I'll just uh, copy this path and paste it over here so what we are doing inside this folder we are just like you now uh, creating one more hard drive so once this is entered right so you could see the output like this and then once that is done we can just type cd just to come out from this uh, path so i am into my root right now and then what we can do we just need to fix the permission okay control plus copy and then just right click over here and then hit enter just give it some time uh, to parse it okay so I'll, ju I'll be just giving you like a you know, quick uh, this uh, command line uh, into my I'll just paste this into my comment section below so that like you, know, you can just copy and just paste it so this is done I am into back I am ba I got my like you no know, root uh, I'm into my root right now so this part is done fixing the permission now what I'm gonna do is I'll just come to my Eve and uh, right click on this and click on node and type panorama okay so right before it was grayed out but now I could see the panorama is here right so it's taking 16 GB of RAM one Ethernet. we can uh, increase the Ethernet count as well like three or four if we want it so four virtual GPU is it's consuming and let's click on save once this is saved I'll just right click on this and click on start I'm just waiting for turning this blue now it is blue from like it was grayed, grayed out at first now it is blue right I'll just click on this and open my VNC viewer and it is processing right so boot up, boot up sequence is being processed so uh, initially we'll see like you know panels will be booting up really quick see we have panels that 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 is booting up right now so it's gonna take time for like you know, for the installation now it will do all the checks like you know uh, file system checks and so on and so forth so that's something uh, it's gonna do so that is something like you no know, uh, so it's gonna take time for completing this like you know, loading this setup uh, so I'll, I'll just give it time but yes this is how you can like you know quickly install your panorama also please make sure for running panorama like you know 10.x uh, your eve your like you no know, evng machine probably need to have at least 16 gb of ram uh, that's that's something i would like to suggest to you okay so if i'll click on this and click on setting i have given my 16 gb of ram for uh, doing this setup initially i was having my 8 gb of setup but it didn't work out for powering up my panorama so just an fyi if you are lagging the RAM then probably like you know uh, after doing all this uh, panorama like from the eve you will be seeing notification okay like panorama is started but it won't be turning blue okay so if that's the case then you need to probably come back and see what's the memory that you have allocated for your eve engine okay 
so just an FYI uh, so yeah I think uh, this is all how you can uh, like you know uh, import your Panorama into your EVNG and uh, spin up spin spin it up and going further like you know we're gonna have we're gonna cover the labs for Panorama I'll, I'll be making a couple of videos more for doing the lab exercise as well once I'll have time but yeah meanwhile thank you so much for watching I hope this video was informative for you and I'll see you until next time thank you bye bye